Hello everyone and welcome back. We are jumping right into action today because I had the sudden and urgent desire to indulge in some childhood nostalgia, more specifically Neopets. If you are too young or too old to have been around for the golden era of Neopets, I'll explain it a little more as we go along, but for now all you need to know is that it is a late 1990s, uh, early 2000s virtual pet game with which I, alongside millions of other kids, was utterly obsessed with. I have been playing on and off for the last 20 plus years, really aging myself there, though my last Neopets hiatus was definitely my longest. Um, I just recently started playing again after about a 10 year break and I've been having a lot of fun rediscovering the site. Um, some things have changed a lot and some things haven't changed at all, so it's been a ride seeing all these images and games and stuff that were so important to little me that I had just completely forgotten about. As far as the art goes, I intended to make this a sketchbook spread, but once again, I opted to do the sketching and lining and procreate to print out onto marker paper. I'm sure I've said it before, but I just much prefer using my markers on paper that's meant to work with them. Plus, I like the collage look in sketchbooks, so it's a win-win. Since Neopets is geared toward kids, the art style of the site is of course cartoony, and although I've been dabbling a lot in simple, uh, more, car more cartoony styles, I wanted to see what some of the creatures from the site would look like in a semi-realistic style, so that's what I chose to go with. Neopets has many different species of pets to choose from, and each species has different coloration options you can give them by using special items on them. So I went through several of the species I thought I'd be interested in drawing and picked out my favorite color variations to reproduce. I didn't have exact matches for some of the colors of the pets, but I think I managed to make do with a little bit of layering of different colored mar markers. Um, lately I've been making an effort to decide on the colors I want to use before I sit down to use my markers. This has helped me a lot as far as not getting overwhelmed with the desk clutter or choice paralysis as I'm working and has just overall made everything speedier and less stressful for me. So the first Neopet I picked out is called a loop. Base loops aren't the scruffy, this is actually one of the various skins you can get on them, which is a prehistoric look known as the Tyranian coloration. I've been a dog person my entire life, so the canine type Neopets have always been my favorites, with the loop being the best among them in my humble opinion. I've lost access to the very first account I created, but I'm pretty sure I had a blue loop as one of my first pets on the site. My current account, which I've had since I was a teenager, is also home to a Tyranian loop of my very own, which is why I wanted to draw this particular version of them. I have really bad memory when it comes to my childhood. I think I remember the things that I liked, like uh, Neopets and Digimon and Beanie Babies, more than like actual events that happened. Um, I guess that's because the pop culture stuff that was around then still gets brought up on the internet while the personal experiences just slowly fade away, but all that is to say that getting back into Neopets got me thinking about what my early artistic influences were. Neopets was definitely one of them right up there with Digimon, so it was really fun to draw these guys and just think about how far I've come over the years from those little kid doodles. I don't consider myself a great artist. Um, if anyone were to ask what my skill level is, I think the only answer I could give is that I'm just a hobbyist. I'm not actively trying to improve or anything, it's just something I do for fun, but even then, if little me could see how I draw now, I know she would just be floored, and she'd also be so smug about how many of my childhood childhood interests I've held on to in spite of being told for the better part of my life that I grew out of them. So yeah, whoever told me I wouldn't like stupid virtual pets in anime once I was grown up, guess what? I'm still a freaking weeb. I sure showed them. So the next Neopet species I wanted to draw was the Peofin. I chose to go with the Dargan version because I think they're the coolest Peofin skin out there. In addition to being a dog person, I was also super into horses when I was little. Um, I later went on to move out to the countryside with my parents and own more than my fair share of horses, so needless to say, horse type Neopets were pretty high up on my fave scale back in the day too. I don't draw horses very often these days, so it was a little rough starting out. Luckily, I have a crap ton of reference photos I've taken, so it wasn't hard to 
pull up some guidance. Even so, this one came out slightly more stylized than the others just because I'm not as brushed up on horse anatomy to make them more realistic, if that makes any sense. It was still super fun to draw and I'd love to give Pew Fins another go in the near future. Since I've gotten back into the site, it's become pretty obvious that the economy there has changed a lot since I played back when I was a kid. The site's currency is a lot easier to get, and some of the things that used to be out of reach back then are laughably easy to obtain now. There's some things where the reverse is true, but generally I've been having a lot of fun going and playing games to rake in Neo points and buy some of the things I wanted when I was a kid. I'm particularly fond of these little critters called pet pets, which as the name implies are pets for your pet. There's a bunch of different species and colors available for those as well, and unlike with the Neopets themselves, there's no limit to how many pet pets you can hoard. It just sings to the collector in me. It might make- it might take a lifetime, but I would love to be able to get my hands on every color of every species and make my kid self even more proud. Before I moved on to the next pet, I realized that I forgot to use my colored pencils on the loop. I want to add a little bit of shading with my colored pencils and in the process realized that I wasn't really feeling it. So I just slapped a little bit throughout the rest of the loop so that there wasn't this one random spot of colored pencil and I left it at that. For the next Neo pet, I chose to tackle the Aisha. Unlike the previous two, I actually did not like the Aisha at all when I was little. They didn't grow on me until recently and now I think they're adorable. They are little alien critters and I'm not sure how other people view them, but I interpret them as being very cat-like. The sight version of the Aisha shows them as not having any toes, but I thought that would look really weird in my style, so I exercised some artistic liberty and added some in. You can probably tell that I based my Aisha off of Sphinx cats, as most of the site art gives the impression that Aishas don't have fur, though since I drew this, I have come across at least one image that suggests they have some. Aishas normally have a collar with the letter A attached to it, but I completely forgot about this for this doodle. Um, I'm also not 100% sure if they have eyes, since all the site art I can remember has their lids closed. Um, I think I might have seen some customizations people have done to their Aishas where they've added eyes, but I don't know if that's an accessory or actual eyes. Anyways, I decided to go with the basic blue color that Aishas come in. Even though it's not particularly eye-catching, it's one of my favorite looks on them. I'm not sure if I ever had a pet Aisha when I was little, but I recently got my hands on one on my current account and I just love her. I can't wait to give her a fancy skin and some snazzy customizations. If I do more Neopets fan art in the future, which I'm sure I will, I would like to try doing another version of a semi-realistic Aisha and try to push the alien aspect even farther into something really weird. This little fluff ball thing isn't a Neopet, it's actually a pet pet called a Meekins. Um, I just added it in as a space filler. Um, I couldn't fit a full size pet in there, so I just decided to do a pet pet. It was easy to draw and cute, so yeah, that's all I really have to say about that. Next up we have the Zafara. This is another one I was really fond of as a kid and though I don't own one now, I would love to get one in the pastel skin that I picked out for this doodle. Drawing the Zafara was a little weird because unlike the other pets in this spread so far, it isn't really based off of one particular real world animal. I think there's definitely some kangaroo in there, but other than that, I just don't know. So I made my version with a little bit of weasel and feline influence and I think it came out pretty darn cute. Either way, they look like they're some mischievous little guys and I love them so much. For the last pet we're doing today, I chose the Kyrie. This version is the Ghost Kyrie, and this is probably the only Neopet in today's bunch that I didn't really care for as a child and has still not grown on me, although I am a little more tolerant of it after seeing it described as weasel-like. I had honestly never pinned it as a weasel until I read its wiki entry while choosing which pets I was going to draw, and you know, I am partial to weasels, so the Kyrie, still not my fave, but it's got a higher standing than it used to. Also, side note, apparently the original version of the Kyrie, back before Neopet started getting popular, was heavily based off of Sonic the Hedgehog. Don't cancel me for this, but 
as someone who has never been into Sonic, I had no idea that that was a thing until, again, I read it on the Neopets wiki, and now that I know that, I can kind of see it? I don't know, do with that what you will. In spite of me not really liking Kairis, I did have fun having a go at my own interpretation of them. It looks a little bit evil, but also cute, so I'm happy with it. As the finishing touch to this spread, I decided to add in a random acrylic paint color. Looking back, I wish I had gone with yellow instead since it would have made the sketches pop more and it's also the Neopets color, but there's always next time. These days, Neopets is nowhere near as bustling as it once was, but I'm so glad that it's still around. Most of its current player base are adults like me who have come back for the nostalgia, and it's so cool to be able to log into this early 2000s time capsule and to be able to play with little sim creatures who are even older than my dog. If any of you played or still play Neopets, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Let me know what kind of Neopets you had and if they were painted any special colors, and you know, if y'all remember your login info, those pets are probably still waiting for you, so I recommend you go take a look. They're probably starving. Anyways, I will leave you all here with some outro footage of our first snow last winter in our new house. We were still cleaning up some of the mess the previous owners left in the yard, but it was still very pretty, so I wanted to share that with y'all. So I hope y'all enjoyed today's video, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.